Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, this is part four, I believe. I lost count already. Son of a bitch. It happened again. On the same page, too. Uh, let's see. We're going to jump right in there. We have Shawnee. Uh, he's got five questions. Uh, he says he has a few, but it's actually five. But that's okay, because I love questions. They keep me going. That probably sounded gay, too. Um... Anyway, his first question is, what 360 game do you recommend as of right now? As of right now, since I have not had a chance to play anything new like Halo 3, and Guitar Hero 3 is not yet, the best choice for you right now would be Gears of War. Because even though it came out like a year ago next month, it's still an amazing game to play. It's still fun. I can still go through the campaign and have fun, even though I've done it like six or seven times now. Um, yeah, I can answer that better once I get my 360 back and play games like Halo 3, Guitar Hero 3, Smackdown vs. Raw 2008, uh, I especially can't wait for March for Grand Theft Auto 4 to come out, that's gonna be a real time consumer for me, so yeah, uh, will you buy NBA Live 08? No, I will not, but I will be buying NBA 2K8. Uh, NBA 2K8 is, seems to be the only 2K game that I like. I hate the baseball game because it's all about graphics and the gameplay is horrible. Um, for baseball, I prefer MLB 07 the show, or 06 the show, or I'm sure they'll come out with 08 the show. But uh, the show is the way to go for baseball, but for basketball, 2K8. Uh, I heard a lot of bad things about NBA 08, I think it was. I had a review of it on X-Play not too long ago. And, uh, yeah, I haven't heard too much about NBA Live 08, but I'd say 2K8 is the way to go. Uh, this next question, do you know when the new Midnight Club comes out? I don't know the, sp the, sp the specific date. Sorry, tongue twister. Uh... Yeah, I don't know the specific date of it. Uh, it comes out early next year. I know that much. Uh, if you want the exact date of it, go to a website like GameStop. Uh, they always have pretty dead-on dates. IGN.com will be able to tell you. Uh, that's all I can really think of right now. Uh, it's going to be Midnight Club Los Angeles. Uh, if you go to 1WF, I have a picture of it in my signature. It's actually a picture of Midnight Club Dub Edition. But I just put the logo and the year, 2008, on there. But now that they have pictures of uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles, I can finally update that. I'm trying to get a good picture of it. So, uh, anyways, next question. Who do you feel needs to push the most in the current WWE? Off the top of my head, I'm going to have to say Kennedy. Even though he ran into some problems with the steroids and the prescriptions or whatever. I don't know the whole story. But he got suspended for 30 days, just like a whole lot of other people. Uh, but he still got a lot of talent for such a young guy. I believe that him and Orton really are the future of the business. I really believe that. You can say what you want about Randy Orton, about his attitude, whatever you want. The guy has talent in the ring. He just glows of charisma. You can see it. At least I can see it. If you can't, then you're blind. And you're just an Orton hater for whatever reason. That's fine. You like who you like. Uh, but Orton doesn't need a push because he's the WWE champion. For those of you that don't know, you're living under a rock and should smack yourself. Uh, but yeah, Ken Kennedy is the way to go on the push. Uh, his, next, his last question, actually. Uh, do you watch indie wrestling? If so, who is your favorite at the moment? I have no way to watch indie wrestling, actually. I've been to a couple of the PWG shows out here. Uh, in Los Angeles, and I think they're over in Buena Park now. Um, yeah, that's really the only time I've ever went. And then... I really didn't know too many of the guys, but, uh, yeah, if I had, if, if you have, like, a link 
to a website that's got videos of indie, I'd love to see them. Go ahead and send it to me. Uh, that goes for anybody out there that watches indie wrestling. Uh, I'd love to be able to watch it, but I have no way to watch it. Um, so, yeah. But I'm going to cut this off now, even if I am running short. I hope I'm not running over. And I'll see you guys in the next part.